Hi, my name is Tom Mahola. I'm from Finland. I have decided to make a new YouTube channel for you. I will help you with technical problems here. I will show you new interesting technologies, old technologies and explain how things work. I hope you will enjoy my channel and subscribe. I thought calling this channel TomTech. So, in this first episode of my TomTech videos, I'm going to show you a trick which you find useful if you ever use a heart rate belt to measure your heart rate during sports exercise or whatever activities you are doing and you might have a problem with it. So this trick will help you. I have this Sunto smart belt which is a Bluetooth smart connectivity heart rate belt and I'm going to use the Sunto Spartan Ultra, the new watch from Sunto. Now, I have heard that some people have uh, great trouble with the heart rate belt. They might not be able to pair it or the heart rate uh, breaks up, not showing the heart rate, showing the wrong heart rate, different kind of troubles. My trick is going to help you. Now, according to the instructions you get with the heart rate belt, you're supposed to moisten the contacts of the belt, put water in it. Now, that's a really stupid advice. And I will show you why. These contacts are made of conductive plastic. They are meant to conduct the weak electrical signals from your heart through your chest to the heart rate module that measures your heart rate. Now, water is conducting electricity. But why put water on the contacts? They already conduct electricity. <laughs> Now, probably the idea the people had who made the instructions was that if you put water on the contacts of your heart rate belt and then put your belt on your chest, the water will get on your skin and then improve the contact to your chest. However, this does not work very well. And this is why. So here's the contact of the belt and you're supposed to moisten it according to the instructions. See what happens the water just falls off. A very little water is left and when you start putting this belt on the rest of the drops will probably fall off, maybe a few left and those will smear on the wrong place on your chest and finally when the belt is on you there's hardly any moist underneath. So this is why this instruction is really stupid. Now here comes my trick. I suggest you don't moisten the heart rate belt but you moisten your skin on the chest instead. This is what I do and I never have any problems with my heart rate belt. Now I will show you how to do it. Okay, so I put my belt on first and then I wet my hand under the faucet or something, just plain water, and then I smear under the belt. And remember the contacts are on the sides, so there's the place where you smear. Wide area is good. You can also smear first and then put the belt on, it doesn't matter. In the beginning you might feel a bit uncomfortable putting water on your chest, but you get used to it. I have. Uh, and use warm water and you don't need to put so much water. And the improvement in the heart rate quality is so great so it's worth the trouble. Pair HR sensor, moisten belt, not a good idea. Bouton sensor, that's a good idea. And it works perfectly every time for me when I do this trick. Okay, if my trick doesn't help you, there might be still a couple of problems you might uh, think about. One is the battery. Only use good quality batteries because cheap, bad quality batteries might not give enough current to make the heart rate belt work. And also you need to replace the battery once in a while. Now
Now, another problem you might have with your heart rate belt is contamination or degradation of your uh, contacts. When you use your belt for a longer time, dead skin cells or deodorants or whatever might uh, deteriorate the material and the conductivity will decrease. Even washing won't help you. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to measure the contamination of the pads of your heart rate belt. Remove the Bluetooth module from the belt and then contact the two pads together, you see, and press hard. And then you need a multimeter. Set the multimeter to measure resistance. Keep pressing the pads together while measuring the resistance between the contacts. And then observe the resistance from the meter. It should be less than 10 kilo ohms, and this belt is in a really good shape because it's less than 1 kilo ohm. You can do the same test with the older heart rate belt, which is not Bluetooth but Ant. Remove the module, and now it's a bit more tricky with this old belt. You probably want to keep it on the table. Remember pressing the pads together, then measure the resistance between these metallic contacts. Now it's 1.6 kilo ohms, which is pretty good. Here's another belt, an old one. I tried to measure it the same way. Whoa! Now you can see it's more than 20 kilo ohms, so this belt is really bad. So, when you have measured the resistance of your heart rate belt and find that it's high, more than 10 kilo ohms or so, that means your contacts have been contaminated. And the only way to fix that is to get a new belt. You don't need to buy the module, you can get this belt separately. One other thing you should uh, check for is that <clears throat> sometimes this uh, sensor unit might be loose from the belt. So check that it's actually snapped into place. And it's also important that the Sunto text is uh, the right way on your body, so not put it upside down. Alright, this was the first video in my Tomtech series. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some really good advice how to use your heart rate belt. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to get the next video and see you later.